What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So this morning we've got a couple of things we got to do here first thing which is feed the horse, feed the pigs, feed the chickens, feed the dogs already fed. And then we're going to let the chickens out again for the first time having a full day outside of their coop and let them free range for a full day today. I'll just give you a little update here and there throughout the video. And then also the wife apparently purchased a donkey and told me this morning, oh by the way we're having a donkey delivered today around four o'clock. I'm like you gotta be joking. But anyways, not a big deal. We do have another surprise coming to the farm. So stay tuned for that. So we got the pig's feed, we got the chicks fed. Actually, let me show you the chicks. These are the up and coming egg layers here. And here we got a whole bunch of little black chickens because the wife says she read some article that said that black chickens resemble crows and crows and hawks don't get along, therefore they leave each other alone. I don't know how true it is, but I guess we'll find out if our chickens never get attacked or if pox just don't attack big chickens. We'll see. Now Scout is out here munching away because even when his, uh, you know, closed off to the pasture, he has access to this little lot here because he likes to keep it nice and mowed down. And he usually does a pretty darn good job of that. Um, but <laughs> funny thing is, last night we did actually have one chicken that got out of the fencing. It wasn't late though, it was like eight o'clock at night, so it really wasn't bad. But we did have one get out and we're trying to figure out where it was but I'm thinking it was along this back gate. It sits right there. Now, that's not that bad, but if you look real close, like in a spot like this, I mean, this is a four inch gap probably, which is enough for those little chickens to slide under. So what I might actually do is take a shovel, dig this little spot out where the wheel's supposed to sit a little bit lower, because as you can see, the gate's kind of at an angle as it is like it starts up higher here and it goes down lower so I might actually take a flat shovel and dig out that little area just a little bit lower and hopefully it'll sit the gate down a little bit lower to the ground a couple inches allowing the fencing to actually sit a little bit lower in that spot now that spot over here also has a little gap along the bottom that they could get out of but it's a lot smaller and much more unlikely for them to be getting out over there the one that I did see was out obviously right over here in this little lot area walking back and forth along the chicken coop therefore I'm like okay clearly it had to have been over here that's the only thing that would make any sense so let's see if we can get that fixed but in the meantime I'm gonna let the chickens out anyways because I haven't fed them yet this morning so I'm going to actually let them come out of the coop and see if they can just feed a little bit this morning on some clover and stuff there's a whole bunch of clover in here first full day out of the coop. Right now I'm gonna go and fill the little kiddie pool by their coop and uh, we're kind of digging out under that fence. Got the chicken some fresh water. Take it getting out of the tub. The ducks are playing in their little pool. Actually, the first time I've seen them playing in it, I filled it up on the inside of the coop on the outside portion, just over here, that I've only ever seen them drink out of. I never actually saw them play in it. But I dumped all the dirty water out, filled it up with some new water again today, and uh, set it outside. I'm like, you know what, they might want to just use it outside today in the shade. And there they are, playing away. I dug that out deeper, and so, as you can see, the netting sits like an inch and a half off the ground now. But right here, it's still a little bit high, so I just laid like a row of pea gravel because we have tons of it. I just laid it along that gap just to kind of deter anything from trying to get under there. And then of course the rest of it in between is touching the grass, so it's not, not a problem. They're not really going far from the coop. I mean, they've only been out here again probably 20, 25 minutes, but they're staying pretty close to it. The next step is gonna be washing the Hellcat and the six speed because we gotta get some more promotional videos of these vehicles and they are covered in dust and leaves because, well, we've got freaking trees all over the place. I love trees, but I did not realize that living around so many trees was gonna cause such problems for keeping vehicles clean with, you know, pollen and leaves and just nasty stuff just all the time. So anyways, we're gonna start the car up and uh, get on out of town here. I'm gonna wash down the Hellcat and then get it over to my parents, get some video, get my laptop, head back home, grab the six speed, and then we're gonna wash that truck as well. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any help with me right now. 
and it's an off day for the boys and my wife's got a lot of stuff to get done so I'm just gonna have to do the solo and there's nowhere to set a camera in this wash bay so I'm just gonna have to get it washed and I'll show you guys after we're done. I actually didn't end up filming any ad videos for my Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns and let me tell you why I didn't get to doing that. So basically I got to the house, to my parents house that is, and then I went to review my Facebook ads and edit out makes minor changes, stuff like that, because I do that pretty much every single day. And I got on my account and I realized they were not letting me edit my ad. I thought it was kind of weird, but I've had it happen one other time and it was something dumb, like I wasn't logged into the account properly to where I could you know, edit my ads. And you had to be logged into my personal account to be able to edit the ads since I created them under my personal account. Long story short, Facebook put my accounts on hold due to community guideline violations. If you're wondering what that means or what that basically is saying is that you're somehow on your account saying or doing something that we, according to our Facebook opinion, don't think is you know, community friendly or is some kind of false information maybe. You know, stuff along the lines of that. I don't know, but it's really inconvenient. Let's just say that. We're gonna be calling the winner for this truck right here. For everybody that didn't have a chance to enter to win this truck or chose not to, the truck is a 2018 67 Cummins. It's got 11,000 miles on it. It's a new truck, basically. I mean, hardly ever driven. I'll give the winner a call. His name is Devin, and he is from Minnesota. And he won this truck plus $5,000 cash. Hello? Hey, is this Devin? Yes, this is. What's going on, man? Not a whole lot. There should be a whole lot going on. You a just lot, got a call I mean, today. <laughs> I know, it's been an eventful day for sure. So man, you just want a truck. I know. Is that crazy or what? Yeah, it's like so surreal. Like I don't even know. <laughs> so you're from Minnesota, he told me? Yep. Minnesota, wow. I've never been to Minnesota. Is there a lot out there? A lot of interesting stuff? <laughs> oh, mainly just fields. <laughs> fields? Oh, that sounds like back home. So we got is corn. How long have you watched the videos? Have you watched YouTube videos? Did you just find us through like Facebook marketing or, you know, how did that go? Cause I'm always I've, interested in that. Right, I've been watching the videos for, for some time now. I'd say probably close to two years, I would say when I started watching the videos. Dang, that's crazy. So I've definitely seen the come up a little bit. We've had winners that are like, oh, I just started watching the last month. And you're like, oh, really? And then you've had guys that are like, oh, I've been watching you for three years. And you're like, oh, yeah. that's awesome. It's all over the board, but that's awesome, yeah. man. Super excited for you. I mean, I've wanted a fourth gen for a while, and I wanted a new truck, and I wanted a diesel. And okay. the truck I wanted, I wanted it to be white. You did that 20 entries, so I'm like, I'm hitting this full boy. I bought quite a bit of stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess uh, it worked in your favor. We did a service on it like less than a thousand miles ago. And I'm okay. like, what's funny is the actual service isn't even supposed to happen until 15,000 miles for the first service on this truck. <laughs> wow. It hasn't even hit first full service mileage. 11,345 on the dot. New truck, man. <laughs> Never had a vehicle with that low miles before. Dude, I hadn't had one with this low miles until uh, a little over a year ago. That's when I got my first vehicle that was like almost no miles on it. And it was like just hardly under 10 or something. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'd, I'd never had a low mileage vehicle before. It was always like, you know, 200,000 mile trucks or, you know, whatever. I mean, that's just all I could really afford to buy, you know. That dually you had? Well, that one, that was one of them. I also had a white oh. one before that. And okay. I mean, both of those had over 215 on them, which isn't bad for those trucks. It's just, I right. mean, they're not oh. considered, you know, low mileage truck, like compared to this. And this is basically, <laughs> this is just, just hitting its break in mileage for first service. At this point, I'm pretty much just speechless. It's like, I, I don't even know. It's, it's crazy. I guess we're just going to have to get you down here as soon as you can. So you can uh, put those dreams into reality and actually get in yeah, this thing. For sure. That was Devin from Minnesota. He's in shock. I will say that for everybody who didn't see the truck yet, there it is. Beautiful 2018 67 Commons. But if you want to enter to win this truck, link is in the description below. Every $5 gets you more entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000. So it's actually a couple of days later. It's actually two days since we filmed that video in the truck with the winner for the white fourth gen. We've got a little surprise for you. Got some new merch on. I got some Prosperity Driven Apparel Co. Birch right there. Leather patch hat. This hat could get you a new Hellcat. Or if you want this hoodie, these are on the site for winning 
trucks. So Reagan the other day told me she got me a little surprise. She wasn't sure how I'd feel about. And at first I was like, okay, really? You really bought one? She's like, yeah, 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 I did. So let me show you what she picked up. So the chickens have actually been doing really good. The chickens have been out now. This is gonna be their third day. There's the ducks. Their third day free ranging and they're doing pretty good. We really haven't had anything to complain about. As you can see, there's no chickens out of the fence over here. No chickens out in the yard over there. So everything's in here. She bought a donkey. Oh my gosh. This is what I meant by she surprised me with something. So I wasn't sure what she was talking about, but she said, hey, I bought something and it'll be here later today. I wasn't exactly sure what she was talking about. And then this guy shows up. Donkey. He's a miniature, he's a year old, he's a miniature. Um, he's apparently not really gonna get much bigger. He's pretty much gonna stay this small, which is basically just like a big dog. I mean, he's not, he's not gonna get big. But I'm okay with that, because I don't want him to get any bigger. But I cannot stop thinking of the donkey from Shrek. Yeah, that's what I think every time I see this guy. Why do I just want to say, in the morning, I'm making waffles? Every single time I see this guy. His name is Yoda, if you're wondering. Yoda, yeah. Like from the Star Wars movie, yeah. And our dog Bear, the golden that I've been kind of picking on recently about being a good dog. Well, he went to training, so he's going to be gone for a month, because we have a baby coming in approximately a week. I told my wife, I said, this dog either needs to be in his kennel all the time, outside all the time, or at training and come back a good dog, like well trained and very obedient, because he's like sniffing my feet. Because I said, I'm not gonna have a dog pounce on you while you're holding a baby, or knock the baby out of your hand, or something like that. I said, we're not having that. So he's gonna be gone for a month, and then he'll be back. Yeah, guys, that's the update. Chickens are loving it, again, been three days. And they haven't come more than this far from the chicken coop. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you want to enter to win a Hellcat, go to pdapparelco.com. Or if you want to win a six-speed Cummins plus $5,000 cash. $5,000 cash comes with either of the vehicles, by the way. But head on over to lnpgear.com. Link is also in the description below for that. And every $5 you spend gets you more entries towards winning those vehicles plus the cash. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Well guys, I don't know where Malachi is in his video, but he left his camera out, so I stole it from him, and now he can see me from the house on his camera. <laughs> but real quick, I'm gonna plug my own giveaway since you left it outside. Anyways guys, this is the 05 LLY, if you haven't seen on my channel, Rosine 24 v We are giving this truck away currently, and it is by far really one of my favorite trucks we've owned. So fun to drive, sounds good, looks good. You can find out more about it at dieselbabegear.com or you can go over to my channel and watch the videos. We got a lot more to do to this truck, obviously. For all my Duramax fans out there, go uh, to dieselbabegear.com and get entered to win our LLY Jaws.